Okay, in this example here, we have a system of equations, a uh, system of linear equations, 3x plus 4y equals negative 23. We have 2y minus x equals negative 19. And we want to know what is the solution to this system. Negative 5, negative 2. We've got 3 comma negative 8, 4 comma negative 6, and 9 comma negative 6. So, again, let's talk about an algebraic way to do this, and then we'll talk about quickly a way to do it, you know, if you didn't know how to do the algebra. So there's a, a lot of different ways to solve these linear systems of equations. You can do substitution, which is what I'm going to use. You can use elimination by addition, which is certainly another good way. Graphing would be my definitely um, my last resort. I wouldn't do it because these numbers are going to be pretty big, and when you try to graph them and figure out a point of intersection, it might be a little sloppy. So um, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to notice that all the x-coordinates are different. The y-coordinates are the same in, in, in at least the last two choices. If I can just figure out you know, what x-coordinate works, I, on the test, would be lazy. I wouldn't even go figure out the y. I would figure out the solution for x, and then I would be done, and um, that's what I would do. So what I'm going to do, I've got these two equations. I want to get an equation that involves only the variable x. That's my goal. That's my thinking. So again, you know, you don't have to do this. You could solve for x or y quickly and then go back and figure out the other one. Uh, to me, this is just trying to be a, a quick, you know, you're, I'm trying to be fast and be a time saver. So I want to get an equation that involves only x, which means I want to get rid of y. So I'm going to take this equation and solve for y. I would have 2y equals, I'm going to add x to both sides. So I would have x minus 19. And then I would divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. And I would have y equals x minus 19 divided by 2. So now I'm going to take this, uh, this uh, expression, this equation for y, and I'm going to plug it into the original, or excuse me, the, well, the first equation that we started with. So I would have 3 multiplied by x plus 4 multiplied by y, which again is x minus 19 over 2, equals negative 23. Okay, so we've got 3x plus, so 4 divided by 2 would leave me with a 2. I still have x minus 19 in parentheses. I've got to distribute. Okay, so now it's just a linear equation in one variable here. So I've got 3x plus, I would have 2 multiplied by x, which is 2x. 2 multiplied by negative 19 is negative 38. I still have negative 23 left over. 3x plus 2x is 5x. I would also have to add 38 to both sides. Whoops, 38, 38. So negative 23 plus 38, that's going to give me positive 15. If I divide both sides by 5, I would get the solution x equals 3. And at this point, just like I said, I wouldn't even bother to solve for y. I would say it's got to be answer choice b because that's the only one that has an x-coordinate of 3. So again, that's just you know trying to be... A, a, trying to save time on the test. So I would box in answer choice B and be off to the next one, um, and I wouldn't think too much more about it. But suppose there were a couple, you know, suppose answer choice A had 3 comma negative 2. Well, the way to figure out the Y value, again, recall, is we take one of the two original equations. It doesn't matter which one you use. You could use the first one or the second one. I'm going to pick on the second one. So we have 2Y minus, well, we had X before, but we now know that X equals 3 equals negative 19. And okay, again, I'm just trying to solve for y. So I can add 3 to both sides, add 3 to both sides. That's going to give me 2y equals, okay, so negative 19 plus 3, what is that? That is going to be negative 16. We divide both sides by 2. We'll have y equals, okay, a negative over a positive is a negative. 16 over 2 is negative 8. So again, just to confirm, you know, if you wanted to be extra sure you didn't make a mistake, you could even figure out the y coordinates. So yeah, it says we get 3, negative 8, and again, we've got the, the answer. 
If you had no clue how to do this problem, you know, if you didn't remember substitution or elimination by addition, you could always just start brute force checking, and I'll just show you how to check one of them. Again, now, on the test, I would be real nervous about doing this, you know, it, again, a lot of the test is about making sure you have enough time. It's a little bit of a, a, a race against time. So you have to decide whether or not checking all these values Maybe you'll get this one right, but maybe you won't get to a couple other questions as a result. So I'm going to take the first equation. I would have 3 multiplied by x plus 4 multiplied by y equals negative 23. So I'm going to ask myself, if I substitute in negative 5 and negative 2, do I get negative 23? Well, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Does negative 15 minus 8 equal negative 23? Yeah, it definitely does. Okay, That doesn't mean, though, negative 5 comma negative 2 is the solution, because it also has to work in the second equation as well. So there we had 2y minus x equals negative 19. So the same thing. If I substitute in y equals negative 2 and x equals negative 5, I'm thinking, does that, in fact, equal negative 19? Well, no, because here I'm going to get negative 4, and I'm going to get positive 5. Negative 4 plus 5 definitely does not equal negative 19. So that tells me again, in fact, that negative 5 comma negative 2 is not the solution. Okay, so I know that that one's not right, and again, that's the problem. You have to check B, C, and D as well. And, you know, if it turned out that the last choice had been correct, you're going to spend a lot of time doing this one. So just keep that in mind when you do it. A lot of these you can use the solutions to, you know, to, to figure out the correct answer, even if you don't remember how to do it algebraically. But again, keep this in mind. This test is a lot about, um, you know, doing these problems quickly. So uh, you have to decide whether or not you're going to, you feel comfortable enough with the arithmetic to do it quickly or not. Again, if I didn't know how to do it using algebra, I would probably just skip it and uh, keep on going.